What's up YouTube? It's Vehicle Master 3000 here. And today I'm showing you the um Road Ripper's Vault Buster Monster Truck and uh S World Fan 900 T R R C what the heck. You're not the only one apparently who went to the Goodwill yesterday. I found this at Goodwill yesterday. And uh this thing, when I first saw it, it was dirty, like real dirty, like I mean, dirty as heck, like that. Like, like the top of it was decent, but the bottom of it, it looked. I mean, some. I'm, let's just put it this way: somebody liked this truck a lot. Somebody really loved this truck. I mean, I, when I show you the bottom, you'll see what I mean. Somebody really loved this truck. It didn't have the battery cover on it, so I don't have one for it. It does still have the mute switch sticker on it, which is really weird considering how dirty it is. And uh, when uh, when I turn it over, I'll, or like when I'm finished with the video, I'll take the mute switch sticker off. But uh, there's a little bit to describe with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over, press the buttons and stuff. Well, no, I'll turn it over and describe it first. And then you might wanna stay till the end for this one because this thing has some squeaky wheels. I haven't I haven't done any um repairs on it yet and it doesn't really need any but it's got some uh little little tiny flaws in it that could be better that I'm probably gonna try and work on. So I show you the truck. I'll show you the bottom. I'm hoping you can see how dirty this thing is. Well it's not that dirty on the bottom anymore, but you'll just have to take my word on that one. But on the front of it, there's this weird dirt stain or something on the front of the bottom. Let's see if I can locate it. Yeah, it's right there. But, uh, all right, so. It's got a dirt stain on the third, on the chassis. Not sure if you'll be able to see it. See, that's closed. Sorry, there you yeah. go. Oh, I don't know. I hope you guys can see that dirt stain. That should be proof enough for how dirty this thing was. And then let me show you inside the wheels how dirty this thing is. All right, that's one wheel. That's the second wheel. Now this other wheel here, this is the dirtiest wheel. Just look at that crap. So I gotta clean this thing off and clean it off good. Technically, if I wanted to be really good about it, I would open this up and clean it that way also as well because there's no doubt in my mind that this thing is probably dirty on the inside too, like really dirty. And everything could probably use a clean. So technically, I should probably do that, but these monster trucks are a pain to get up, to open up. But on the other hand, this is a third gen chassis. So I can actually take the wheels off and put them on and that's gonna make life a lot easier. I gotta clean these wheels off anyway, so I'm probably gonna uh, take them off and clean them out real good. Maybe run them through the water or something, and dry them off real good so they don't rust. Like, so it doesn't rust out the axle or anything. Cause this sounds like it needs some oil and it needs it good right now. But the only other flaw with this is, is from the, it being on for so long, uh, I want some of the wheels like this one here, I'm not sure if you can see I'm spinning it kind of loose on the screw so gotta fix that up and uh, whoever had this on like I said really love this truck I can tell so now on to just what it looks like for those who can't see it so this is basically well obviously it's a monster truck but it's got a regular truck's body but it's got it's like a vent kind of thing on the hood going upward in an upward slanting pattern it's got three little pieces it's almost like kind of a big hummer hood and it's got the roof and it's got these weird little dots on the front of the roof my brother told me that the sides of it light up here which is weird because it has a sticker on it and then it has a weird roll cage in the back here and a flatbed just like the dragon's lair it's actually a little bigger than dragon's lair you know so it, I, I thought it was gonna have the same chassis as dragon's lair because like you know they made uh 
Dragon's Lair, and then they made the second generation Bigfoot and Snakebite and stuff, and they had different chassis than the uh, Dragon's Lair and the TKO and the, and all that stuff. I don't know, all that good stuff, but... So I was very surprised when I found this had a, um, a third generation um, standard monster truck chassis. So I was surprised by that. But this is either 2010 or 2011. And somebody could let me know in the comments how rare this is. Because for right now, I'm labeling, labeling it as extremely rare. But uh, I will change that if I get uh, better information on it. Oh, yeah. I never showed you the sides or anything, really. So there's the side. You probably see my hand more. There's the side. There's the back. You can see it's a little dirty on the back didn't have any batteries in it at first and terminals are looking pretty good surprisingly oh and it has like little vent things on the side too like slanted things I don't know what that's about I think I mentioned to someone I don't remember who I mentioned to somebody in the comments of my Dragon Slayer video that I wanted a truck the dinosaur one but I want to say it was actually this one now that I'm looking at it I think it was this truck I don't know. Anyway, let's press the buttons. Oh, it's muted. That's what it is. Hang on, I'm gonna unmute it. There you go. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be moving in those jerky way, like it jerks more than it rocks, kind of. Kind of got this as a, technically a birthday present yesterday. Technically, like, I wanted to go to the Goodwill yesterday, and I found this, so I'm kind of considering it a birthday present anyway. you can hear all this squeaking that it's doing because it's not good. So yeah, that thing needs some oil and it needs a good cleaning. Still at the gang, so I'm not sure how good my uh, camera aim was there. Let's see, there's the truck. I hope you guys can hear all this squeaking because it doesn't sound good. So that's it for this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, my 51 sub or 50 sub special is going to come, but my schedule's getting real packed up. I know I'm sound like I'm putting things off, and technically it is, but uh, got really, for real, got uh, crap to do. So eventually, I will get that to you guys, eventually. 
So peace out.